Hello, everybody. Welcome to Resonet, or welcome back to Resonet. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that today I'm going to be doing a project based on this one. I'm going to change it up because I came up with something that I think is going to improve it even. This is a really pretty little jar mold. Um, I use some diamond dust and some chunky glitter and things in here. And this mold comes with these kind of cork stoppers. Okay, and this mold is on Tamu and probably on Amazon as well. Um, and I will look for that. I loved the way this turned out as far as the weight of it, um, kind of the thickness of it. It is kind of a marble feel to it okay well it certainly doesn't look marble but it definitely has some potential so what i want to do today is i've got my mold here and what i want to do is i want to take one of these lids and these this is the lid that goes to those little jar molds that i use all the time the one that had like the little succulent um the little succulent jar and um, I did a pot of gold. And anyway, this is the lid because what I found is that this lid actually fits perfectly in here if you wanted a different look and you didn't want to have the cork. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to mix this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour about six ounces in here. I've got eight ounces of J Diction made up. This is not deep pour resin. This is just their regular resin. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this all at once, but make sure that you know your resin before you do that. If you're new to resin, um, I suggest that you pour in layers, read your instructions, check your room temperature, um, check your work time, and pour in layers until you are familiar enough with your resin. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I've got this and what I'm going to do is I decided I'm going to be using this Epsom salts. Okay. Now this one smells heavenly, but um, I know that it is not going to carry over to the resin, <laughs> but it looks like this inside. It's kind of an off white, which is fine for what I'm wanting to do today. And I'm going to just grab my plastic spoon here. Five big spoonfuls of that into this cup. Like I said there's six ounces in there. Take one of my spatulas here, kind of start mixing this in. Probably going to get some bubbles while that kind of all blends together. I see it sinking down to the bottom has a real kind of an interesting texture when it's all um, beginning to mix together. And let's see here. There we go. It's pretty thick. I'm going to add some of my diamond dust. Okay. I'm going to put one, two, three big scoops of diamond dust. So right now we've just got clear resin, the Epsom salts, and the diamond dust in here. That's all. I'm not adding any pigment. Mix this together. It's about how it looks right now. This is the consistency. And see it's kind of a see-through but you know what it's still not quite as thick as I want it to be so I'm gonna actually add some more Epsom salt okay we did five big scoops we're going to add one two three okay so now we've got eight eight scoops of Epsom salts and a uh, couple of scoops there of the diamond dust. Let's see if this kind of makes it more like what I want it to be. 
nice and thick. It's kind of actually a better texture. You see how I, it kind of looks like slush now. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. And while it's kind of thickening up, one of the things that I wanted to talk about is that I thought it would be fun if I'm gonna do this lid here on this jar, then I thought it might be kind of fun. It might look too flat across the surface um, just sitting on there. So then I thought it might be kind of fun to take this teeny tiny little bird mold I have and go ahead and make a top for our lid, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna have some resin uh, that's gonna be a bit cl more clear up here on the top. And it's gonna, I am assuming that the um, Epsom salts are gonna kind of weight it down and that's gonna sink here a bit, okay? So I am going to take my spoon, get some of that slushy, slushiness out here and I'm gonna pour it into my little bird. And I need to get a baby wipe handy, I can tell already. I've got some little silicone uh, funnels around here somewhere that I keep thinking I need to get them out because it'd be great for something like this. But, but it's all right, just a little quick wipe off of this tiny little mold anyway. Okay, so now the tail here, I can see just a couple of tiny little bubbles in there. And too surprised, but I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it out. I see a little bubble up there at the beak. Squeeze that out. Don't see any other big bubbles through there. I'm going to give it a quick spray of alcohol. Go ahead and fill it up. I use a little craft stick or something and just go right over the top of it. And that works pretty well for me. Okay, little guy, he is all done and ready to set aside. I'm gonna go set him on the curing rack so I don't accidentally knock him over and I'll come back and do a spray of alcohol here in a minute on him. Okay, so now I'm gonna stir this up a bit. My resin is still nice and cool. Even though it's pretty deep, it is not getting hot yet. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spoon some here into my lid. And I'm going to go to the top of just right around this rim here to make sure I get the, any air bubbles out of there before I fill this all the way to the top. Okay, I can see it coming around in there. Do you see? See a little bubble here, a little bigger bubble there. I don't see any other bubbles around the edges, but I want to get that out of there. So I am going to go ahead and give it a kind of a squeeze out. You see that bubble coming out of there? And another one, little one right here. There goes that bubble. Wasn't paying any attention to my other side. <laughs> okay, wipe that down real quick. That's one of the things about making a video, you know, when you're not making a video, you're just watching what you're doing, hopefully. But when you're making a video, you're kind of watching what you're doing, plus you're looking at your camera to make sure that the people can see what you're talking about while you're doing it. Um, at least that's how it is for me. I guess some people probably have it all down and figured out where they don't have to move anything around and, you know, they've got the angle and everything just right all the time. But right now for me as i do different sizes of projects it's not not quite that way for me okay so i'm going to go ahead and give it a quick spray of alcohol just a little spray see a lot of little bubbles coming up out of there i don't know if you can see them popping coming up and let's 
this is, some, this is pretty thick down at the bottom, just like I thought. It's kind of sinking down under there. Get a big spoonful. Okay, there we go. It's all the way topped off. Just a slight dome to this, not much of one. Let's give it a quick spray. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to set this over there. I'll be right back. Okay, so those are over there. Now, I feel my resin's starting to get just the slightest bit warm. Not a whole lot. There's definitely a lot of weight here, like I said, at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pour some of the, of the less dense parts that are here at the top. And I'll go ahead and pour that in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take just a little bit of resin, just a little bit, let it sink in here to the bottom. I'm not going to put any alcohol in there before I do this because um, this really is, there's not a whole lot of like small little crevices in there. It's pretty even. I can just see around the outside even really and make sure that it's looking okay. Okay, give another this quick spray. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this in kind of slowly. In case it starts going down the side, I'm going to have a stick handy here. I'll go right down the middle. Still kind of going in like it's just really slushy. A quick spray of alcohol while that goes down. Kind of beat it down there with it. As we get a little closer to the top, I'm watching it go up the side here. It's about halfway. As we get a little closer, then I'm going to start spooning in some of the thicker stuff that's here at the bottom, hoping that it will kind of slowly disperse throughout and not just all sink. Okay, that's my hope. Okay, it is just right up to about here. As you can see about here. And go ahead and stir some of this up off the bottom now. It's really thick, this part of it. And this is the part that I'm going to spoon and hopefully not make too big of a mess. I'll let that kind of even out. Quick spray. All right, now I've got just a little bit here at the top. Can finish this off. Can't put any more in there. It is full now. So I'm gonna give this another quick spray. I'm gonna move this over to the curing rack and when this is all done, we'll come back and put it all together. All right, I'm so excited and I will see you all then. Hello everybody. Okay, I'm back and everything is cured. I did kind of um, get a little bit um, excited to get this done. So I did end up putting it in my curing machine to get it to move along a little quicker. And let's go ahead. It's still warm, but it is cured. So let's go ahead and get it out of here. We'll start with this lid. See how this turned out. The lids of these little molds here come out pretty, pretty easily and it looks pretty good. I don't see any bubbles or anything around the edges. This came out really nice and even and that part looks really good. Let's turn it over and oh gosh, this here is what I just really love. Kind of a new thing for me, this um, Epsom salts. But I don't know, is this focusing in? 
really close up. I'm, tr I'm hoping it is. But can you see the texture in here? Can you see all of that in there? It's just really pretty. It really has kind of a quartz look to it. And I'm, the more I'm playing around with this, the more I just really am enjoying it. So, um, yeah. So I, let's go ahead and get this out of here too. I have to add a little bit of alcohol in this. And I apologize for my fingernails. I need to get them done, but I've been working outside and hot out there. But um, yeah, so let's get this in there. Just a little, just enough to get this to come out a bit easier. Get, got my paper towel handy. I like to wipe it off just as soon as I get it out. So just kind of move the mold around a little bit. Just kind of breaks the seal all the way down. You can actually, in these kind of molds, you can see it just kind of come, come loose. Okay, dry it off. And it up this way and twist it out. And there we go. Okay, yeah, this is just so pretty. I really love this effect. Okay, let me get my mold put right side out here real quick. Okay, guys, here, let's look at this. Look at how pretty this is. So you can see what I was saying about how the um, Epsom salts do kind of sink all the way down. So right now what I've got is I've got the Epsom salts that sunk to the bottom, which is now our top, right? But it's really pretty. It's got kind of that quartz snow look inside. And then down here we've got, gosh, just like thousands of like little tiny, well, it's part of the, part of the Epsom salts and part of the diamond dust, but it looks like thousands of teeny tiny bubbles. But, um... But that is not bubbles. That is just actually really cool. Do you see down here in the base? Well, that doesn't help. <laughs> if I put my hand down there, there you go. Now you can see how it looks like kind of like a snow look down in there. It's really pretty. So let's see how this lid looks together on here. Really pretty. Now this turned out really pretty. So we had the same thing happen. The Epsom salts um, sunk to the bottom, which was the top of our mold. And then you can see a line here of where then we had the more clear, lighter weight resin was up at the top, okay? But as we put on our lid, it actually just kind of looks like a little rim around the edge. And it looks quite nice, actually. It's actually very pretty. So now let's get our little, our little bird out of here. See how this all turns out together. Same kind of thing happened. We've got most of the stuff here at the top. And then kind of a thinner um, part of the resin is down at the bottom. Now, what I would like to do is because to me, this is quite plain, I feel like. This is what it would look like with the with the cork stopper that it comes with. And this is okay too. You could put a, a little ribbon or something around it or some kind of design if you'd like. But I'm actually kind of excited to go ahead and put this on there because oh my gosh, how cute is this? So super cute. So now this mold, like I said, did come from Tamu and it does come with the cork lids and you can buy, um, extras of just the lids. And I did that when I bought the mold. So I think I didn't realize I was getting so many, but I think I've got like 15 or 20 extra cork lids and I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm prepared for those and I'll, and I'll find a good use for them. But, um, but right now I just picture myself using this lid probably even more. And if you look here around the edge, it's perfectly, it's as if this lid was made for this jar. Super happy about that. So now let's take our little bird just matches 
perfectly and our lids are going to be really slippery the shade is just right you can see how here it would look like this so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and get my uv resin and my black light here and we're going to go ahead and attach this little guy and what i want to do is just put one little drop not much i don't want it to leak out over the side I'm going to see if I can get him on there. He's going to stay. And then I'm going to just try, and at least there's a bit of that bird that is kind of translucent at the base. So I'm hoping that that will cure just right. Looks like he's pretty centered. Gosh, he's already sticking to it. So, yep, he's got to be centered enough. This is actually really pretty. You know, this would be a really easy kind of a uh, Christmas gift to give or not even for Christmas you could do birthday you could do this in any color I can see through the camera that this is really showing purple on here and it's really not it's not um, shining purple here in real life really it's just kind of a barely can even see a purple in real life so let's see that's probably a good minute and a half or so maybe Yeah, okay, so he's off a little bit to one side. I see he's not completely even on here. And that was my fault because I started, I put the flashlight on before I really paid attention. But look at that. How pretty is this with this little lid on here? And now we can see what it looks like all together. Put it down on here. My resin's still warm, so I'm not going to leave it on here too, too long. But isn't that pretty? really pretty um it's just warm enough to where i don't want it to cure together inside the lid but i do want to try another experiment because you know that's what i like to do so let's take these little white lights and put them down in here and see oh gosh look at that now that makes a really soft light and i've got you know all those little colored lights as well um I don't know, a lot of them, probably, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 more of these white ones and then a whole slew of the colored ones. And they would, I'm looking for things to do with them. So this kind of thing, kind of fun. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get that down in there. Turn it on just like that. Oh my gosh, look it. I know I'm always like, bombarding you guys with things with different lights but look at how pretty is this turn off my main light too and you can just see it glow all the way up all the way up through the top to the bird but how pretty is this it's very nice bright white color and um yeah gosh you guys so much fun it's just so much fun. I just am constantly finding new things like that that I'm always wanting to try. And we could even try this with colored lights or the little battery operated flat lights that have the remote. That would work in here as well. But this is just super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cool off. It's definitely cured. This little bird's on here nice and great. That was super easy and quick to do. And, um, I'm going to let it cool. As soon as it does, I'll get some close-up pictures for you so that you can kind of see what this looks like. I've already thought about um, how pretty it would be to make a little cardinal up here for the holidays, but for right now, just this plain little jar. Really pretty. I just love it. And like I said, I'll get some close-ups for you when it cools down just a bit and I can put it all together. And thank you all so much. And I appreciate you joining me. I hope that this inspired you to try something and you know you don't always have to use the stuff that comes together with your molds you know think outside the box look around see what might work try it you never know it might work just like this did and um yeah i'll see you guys all next time thanks again